Harry Houdini was born by the name Eric Wise on March 24, 1874 in Budapest, Hungary. At a young age, he and his family of eight moved to Appleton, Wisconsin. When he was just six, Harry became interested in magic and the art of escape. In 1884, Eric renamed himself Harry Houdini after the famous French magician named Robert Howden. In 1891, Houdini rediscovered his childhood passion and teamed up with a friend named Jake Hyman uh, in an act called the Houdini Brothers. After his father died in 1892, 18-year-old Harry left his mother and brothers in New York and took to the road. The brothers Houdini performed their act, an unremarkable collection of card and other magic tricks, in dime museums and small theaters throughout upstate New York and the Midwest. They performed on the midway of the remarkable 1893 World's Columbia Exposition in Chicago. In 1894, Harry's younger brother, Dash, replaced Hyman, but not for very long. That summer, Harry met and married a fellow performer named Wilhelmina Beatrice Rahner. Bess was made Harry's assistant, and the brothers Houdini became simply the Houdinis. By the end of the year, the Houdinis were playing in leading vaudeville houses from the Midwest to California. By early 1900, they were also a hit on Keith's East Coast circuit. Displaying a talent for publicity to match his abilities as an escape artist, Houdini performed jail escapes and other public stunts to lure people into theaters. Houdini, known variously as the celebrated police baffler and the king of handcuffs, developed a basic routine which would make him a legend. After nearly a decade playing dime museums and circuses, vaudeville must have seemed like a different world. The Houdinis performed fewer shows before upscale audiences in lavish theaters and made more money. At the turn of the century, vaudeville was the top of the entertainment pyramid and Houdini became one of its stars. Later on, Harry Houdini became the most talented escape artist and illusionist early in this decade. He was noticed in vaudeville United States and then took a tour where he became recognized in European countries. As Houdini's career grew, he began to make movies, yet his acting turned out to be unprofitable and it rapidly came to an end. While Houdini's astonishing performances seemed to be questioned by those in competition and those disputing over the authenticity of his acts, he continued to progress and become well-known throughout Europe, and the U.S. Houdini's performances were unique and complicated, unlike any other magician of the time. Houdini had reached the pinnacle of his success with his escape trick in the Chinese water torture cell, where he was hung upside down by his feet and suspended into the water cell for more than three minutes until he could escape. To perform this trick, Houdini had taught himself to hold his breath for five minutes. This trick became what he was best known for, and he continued to perform it as long as he lived. In 1923, Houdini became president of Martinka and Company, America's oldest co magic company. Houdini traveled across the U.S. and Europe, performing in major cities such as New York and Chicago. As the U.S. economy grows and flourishes, attending shows and sports games has become a luxury that Americans in the middle and upper class spend money on. Houdini would perform in theaters and on stages in any place accessible to the public. Audiences would pay to watch the incredible, sought-after acts be performed. In the past decade, Houdini's career seemed to peak. He was performing consistently to large audiences who paid to see him. Houdini was making money and had no comparable competition. When others would have retired to enjoy their success, Houdini reinvented himself time and time again, finding new ways to maintain his public appeal. In 1926, Houdini died from acute appendicitis on October 31st. It is still unknown what caused this to happen, but doctors say he performed two days with a burst appendix. Houdini believed that he could take any punch. A college boy tested this by asking Houdini if he could punch him in the stomach as hard as possible. Houdini agreed, but the boy punched him without Houdini preparing himself. Doctors believe this could be part of the reason Houdini's appendix burst, but it is still unknown.